So today we're going to discuss in detail candlesticks and some of my favorite candlestick patterns and how you can use those to profit in the market. So if you're new to trading, this is the video for you. Hey, it's Nick Pips of Now I Catch Pips, where I teach you how to give your dollars a job. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and links to anything I mentioned will be in the description below. Okay, YouTube family. So today you're going to get a special preview into a call that I did with my personal team. So these are the type of calls that we do with the team to ensure that everyone is coming along when it comes to their trading journey because everybody learns at a different pace. So I just want to lace you guys with this information and uh, bless you. And if you need a mentor or someone to help you along when it comes to your trading, check the description below on how to join my team, and I got you. When it comes to candles, this is how you know if it's a bullish candle or bearish candle. Now, the uh, market standard is that a green candle is a bullish candle, and the red candle is bearish. But in a lot of the applications that you're going to be using for your charting, you can change the colors. So some people may change their colors to pink and purple, or light blue and dark blue or white and black or some people actually make that candles all the same colors because their trading strategy does not necessarily depend on if the candle is bullish or bearish it just uh, depends on market structure as far as like support and resistance and things of that nature so again but we're going to talk about the basics so when it comes to a bullish candle as you guys can see um, from my cursor moving right here this particular candle opened up at this line right here where the body is and price came down and at one point was a full red candle right because the price started up here it opened up here it came down here and was a red uh, that part was a thick red body right then the price came back up past the opening point which was right here and it came all the way up to the top of this wick and was a full green candle with a little tail right here right and then the price came back down toward the end of the candle probably and closed out right here so that's how you know that this is a bullish candle because it opened down here and after everything was said and done, it closed higher than the opening. Now, it depends on what time chart you're on, right? If you're on a five minute candle, that candle took five minutes to print. So you have five minutes worth of data. If you're on a month chart, then that's a month's worth of price action. Again, at the beginning of the month, the price opened up here. And when the price at the end of the month, it ended right here. And that's how that candlestick was formed. And again, we're going to talk about why that's important, but that's the bullish candle, right? Bullish means um, buy, upward movement, you know, long, right? When they talk about longs or short, this is the example of a long trade, right? Long meaning price is going up. That's what long means, right? Oops. Yep. So hit that back button there, Curtis. Let me use my pen. There you go. Long, right? So next over here to the right, we have the uh, bearish candle. And the bearish candle is the exact opposite, y'all. It opened up right here at the top of this thick body part and the price went up and was green at some point. So sometimes we'll tell you guys to wait before you get into a trade until the candle finished printing. Because if you would have got in for a buy here thinking that the price was going up just because it started turning green and solid and you just hit the buy button, you would have been very sad when it started to come back and go the opposite direction as this candle did. So. The candle came back down, leaving that wick or shadow, as it's called sometimes. You may hear a wick called a shadow. And then price came down from that high of the opening and came down, actually past this point and was all the way down here. So again, if you're looking to get in for a sale, you want to wait till the candle finished printing because had you hit sale somewhere in here when this, this candle was a full body from here to here, if that was a full body at the time that you hit sale, well, again, you would have had profit for a little bit, then it came right back and went against you, right? And we don't know what the next candle is going to do, right? But that's how the bearish candle or the short candle is formed, right? So whenever we talk about shorts, we're talking about that price is going down, right? That's a short. So if somebody tell you that they're short in the market, that means they're selling. They tell you they're going long on the market, that means they're buying. So let's move on to the next thing. So um, let me go ahead and change my screen share. So I'm going to go back to that uh, candlestick Bible, y'all. Let's see. Share. All right. And again, looking through the table of contents, 
Um, some of the uh, patterns that we, uh, not patterns, but candlestick formations that we that we like. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that here. So as you can see, we talk about this one a lot, the engulfing candle, right? Um, I don't know if you guys, uh, we talk about the hammer a lot as well, the hammer candle, all right? And again, the candlestick formations are kind of like a uh, cheat code to kind of let you know what the market sentiment is, right? So when we talk about an engulfing candle, you know, again, the engulfing candle literally means that you got a small candle that was engulfed by the prior candle because this entire candle fits inside that one. So that's what we call an engulfing candle. And so what that tells you, if this was a uh, bearish candle, right? A red bearish candle. And then price went up that way and it totally engulfed all this bearish momentum for that prior candle. That lets you know that probably if the market was coming down in this direction, that this could be a, 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 a warning shot saying that, hey, I might get a move in the opposite direction now because I had all of this bullish momentum show up on this bearish downtrend, right? And so that's why the engulfing candle is a very powerful candle, right? Um, same Similar thing when it comes to the hammer. And so when it comes to the hound, hammer candlestick pattern, again, just one of the many candlestick patterns that you, you can utilize to, to uh, look for trade setups in the market. The hammer candle literally looks like a hammer, right? And what I just explained to you guys about candlesticks and how they'll form, you know, if this is a red candle, right? That means that at one point in time, this was an entire red body candle. And then if it closed with a long tail like that, AKA a hammer, what does that tell me? That tells me that the bears pushed the price all the way down to this level, but the bulls pushed the price all the way back up and closed it out up here. So that could again show an indication that there is some bullish momentum on the way by that particular uh, candlestick formation. Let's go ahead and look at it on our charts. And voila, y'all should be looking at my uh, Euro USD. And so right here, just so happens, I'm in this trade right here for a sale. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this is my setup right here. Enter at your own risk. <laughs> but um, I'm taking a short on Euro USD. This is a four hour chart. Um, I'm risking 37 pips, looking to get 74. That's my one to two risk reward ratio. If you look right here, I got one to two risk reward ratio. It might be hard to see if you're on a smartphone, but it's my one to two risk reward ratio. All right, and I'm risking 2% to make 4%. But why did I take that trade? Let me show y'all why. So right here, you saw we had an uptrend, right? Price was going up. Then we had the price start to come back down and reverse the other way, uh, giving us what we call it a, um, a swing high, right? Swing high is when you have a candle like this one that has two candles to the left that's lower than it and two candles to the right that's lower than it. And so um, that was my swing low. Then I got this nice push down with two red candles for eight hours straight. Then we got a, a little green candle right here. And then we got another candle that engulfed that entire candle. So for me, that engulfing candle, that gave me the confidence to go ahead and take a short on this. And this particular engulfing candle broke this prior low right here, as you guys can see. So for that, I felt, I felt like it was a safe trade. So again, I'm not telling you guys you have to get into that trade, but I am in it right now. I'm already in it. And it's a four hour candle. So it may be tomorrow morning before it hit my TP, but I'm letting it roll. I'm not stressing about it. Um, when you're trading on a four hour candle, uh, candlesticks uh, chart, it's gonna take a while for those candlesticks to print. As you can see, four, eight, 12, 16 hours, that was the movement right there. So if you look at that, how much movement was that? That was somewhere around 40 pips, 50 pips. I'm looking to go 70, so it may be tomorrow before that TP hit, but that's okay. If you're a person that has a full-time job still and you're looking to trade, maybe you do something like that. You're trading on a four-hour chart. Now, when you're trading on a four-hour chart, depending on what kind of setup you're trading, you may have to give it a 50 or 60 or 70 pip stop loss, but again, you want to be looking to um, take more in profit, at least at least one to one. If you're risking 50, you need to be looking to get at least 50 realistically. And so for me, I'm expecting price to come back down to this prior low right up in this area. And so we'll see. But that engulfing candle is what I want you guys to focus in on, right? So as we can see, we had this green candle that was totally engulfed by this red candle, right? 
And so on the next candlestick, I'm getting in. Now, sometimes what you may have happen, and again, if you want to wait for that, you can. Sometimes you may have, as you can see, I have a little bit of a wick. It may be kind of hard to see because of, uh, let me move this right here out your way. Let me hide that. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's very, very, very small and faint. There's a wick. Actually, you can't even see the body because it's like a real tiny uh, cross, of the upside down cross looking formation. But it pulled back a little bit and then it came down. But sometimes you may have it where you get into this trade looking to short it, even though you had this nice large engulfing, price sometimes will come all the way back up and test the body of that prior candle that was engulfed and then it'll come down. So again, you gotta be okay with that drawdown, guys. And how do you how do you make yourself okay with the drawdown? Make sure that you have proper risk management. Again, for this trade setup that I have, I got 2% risk, y'all. So if it hit my stop loss, I'm not sweating. 2% risk, I still got 98% left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When it comes to my risk management. So, um, take your time. You don't have to over leverage. You don't have to risk 10% of your account because the last five hit perfectly. Remember I told you guys I made, what, 47% last week on my trades? Guess how much I've made this week? Nothing. Negative 13. Oh, no. Hey, I'm not stressed. I'm still up like 30%. So I'm not right? <laughs> but still. But like, yes. <laughs> if I was not using proper risk management, if I got cocky because I had 47% last week, which I'd be I, down 97% this I week. I would have lost all that and then some. Right? I've been there before, y'all. So trust me when I tell you, stay strict on your risk management. If you risk the same amount every time you take a trade, as far as how much you could lose if you hit your stop loss, you're gonna be better off at the end of that that um, that journey. Because again, you're controlling that risk. You're losing 2%, but when you hit, you're hitting 4% plus. Okay, family, hopefully that was a uh, value added information. If you enjoyed this info, drop a comment below and let me know what is your favorite candlestick pattern that you trade if you trade candlestick patterns. So uh, thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And if you have not already, please hit the like button for me. So that way YouTube knows that you enjoy this content and I know that you want me to keep on making more content. Peace.